Ladies and gentlemen, if you like pizza, pasta, or chicken alfredo, I can promise you, Zooters is the place you want to stop. Ba 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 ba. Happy Pasta Friday! Today we're going to check out Wegman's Pasta and see if it's as good as Zooters Pizzeria Pasta. Now I don't think it can hold up to Zooters. Everyone knows Zooters has the number one pasta in the world. Joe Exotic makes it, so it's got to be the best. But we're going to check out four boxes. I got the Rotini, Farfalli, Penne Rigate. I got thin spaghetti, a bunch of jars of sauce. So let's get this stuff cooked up and let's get started. This came out to be 15 pounds altogether of cooked pasta and sauce. I have them each in one pound containers. Let's get started. All right, I'll start off with the mixed one. I had to mix, see how that tastes? Mmm, that's good. This is all three of those mixed together with primarily the meat sauce. I already see it the wrong utensil. Give me a serving spoon, hun. That's perfect. Thank you. Try one of these spoons. That's better. One down. That was my wife who just appeared. Luckily saved me with a spoon. Mmm. It's really good so far. What's your guys' favorite kind of pasta? I prefer angel hair. Two. definitely easier with the spoon. Three. The pasta is pretty good. Alright, so that was four down. I'm going to try one of the um, thin spaghettis. Yeah, it's definitely not angel hair. I'm not a real big fan of spaghetti or thin spaghetti. This doesn't seem as flavorful. Maybe those noodles just hold the sauce better. Five. <clears throat> Usually I mix the noodles like this. But it pretty much works. The sauce doesn't bother me right now. Uh, to be honest with you, it's more the texture of the noodles that start to, starts to get to you. Congrats to Miriam Lopez, last week's Easter egg winner. Good luck to all those playing this week. Seven. Have some coffee here. really does help mix up the flavors. Try not to drink though, because it just takes up room in your stomach. I don't know how they weigh the same. This looks so much bigger than that bowl. But for halfway, oof. Starting to sweat though.
those nine. Whew. Can you ever hit the red button on that one? This top came up here. No, yeah, Welcome so, back. yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> Sorry about this. Yes, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have camera issues, and this is no different than any other. Uh, my camera's only record about 15 to 18 minutes, and then the file size gets too big and they shut off, so my wife saved me Ten. again. Oh, more Farfalli, Penny Regatta, and Rotoni. Or Rotelli. Or Rotini, rather. I said Rotelli the whole time, it's Rotini. Eleven. Five kilograms. Ooh. That sauce starts to get to you after a while. I should have been doing coffee years ago. It really helps um, get that taste out of your mouth for a second. Water just kind of washes it around. I've been doing competitive eating contests and videos for about 20 years now. I never thought to use coffee, but it really does help clear the palate and it makes it bearable when you're eating large quantities of the same flavor over and over. I think I'm wearing half the sauce. Oh, this seems so much tougher than this. All right, 12 pounds down. Oh, just one more. One more bite. At this point in the video, I was definitely getting tired of eating this pasta, and I had to resort to using mind tricks to keep going, as opposed to thinking about completing the whole thing. I just keep thinking, just another spoonful, just one more spoonful, just one more. Right, I'm gonna go on the record as saying, right about 13 pounds of pasta. It, it's not so much fun after that. Two bowls left. I'm sorry, could you start this one camera here? It's so hot in here. Sure. Two bowls left. Oh. Gosh, my wife opened the door. It's so much cooler. I'm heating this room up. Whenever I eat over at least eight pounds of food or so, my body really starts to heat up and I get very hot. Some people call it the meat sweats, but I'm not really eating any meat here. It's just the body's fighting all this food you're throwing in there. That in combination with all the light bulbs I have in this room, it was getting hot. At this point, I've had just about enough of this pasta and I'm wondering, maybe I should have just done three boxes and three jars. That would have been a pretty good video, right? 14. Wow. Ooh. It's just one more pound. How bad could it be? Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, right. That last pound feels like it's equal to the first 14. If you watch the clock, you can see exactly how rough this last one was. Put the third straw in here. Thirty nine twenty nine. I think the uh, Joe Exotic. Definitely made better pasta than the last two pounds of that pasta. Whew. Thanks for coming to another one of my stay at home challenges. That was 15 pounds of cooked pasta and sauce. See you guys soon.